Digital People. Chapter 8. Continues Testing. First, let's see the scope of testing. Testing is crucial in the release segment as it measures the level of product quality that delivers to customer or end users. The quality analysis requires at any level in the development of large-scale industries to small business. We have seen test OK as a symbol in all the products delivered by big brands. That shows the level of confidence about the product to the end user. Certain companies come with a great pamphlet about how to use, who to use, what level of test performed for that particular product. Do the product has any hazardous limit and final rating about product quality. The final rating or QA result measures the total product quality that controls whether to deliver the product on the market or reject. Testing in software development. Quality analysis is not only specific to manufacturing industries. It is also applicable for software development companies irrespective of the company, modules, product, practice or methodology. It applies to all the deliverables that reach end users. It is standard policy for any organization that develops or manufacture to follow. Hence it is also one of the phases in the SDLC also. In the SDLC cycle, testing comes into the picture after the development complete. But it has always been a question whether the QA team needs to be part of the project work group discussion. It is still a debate in many companies. Yet, there are companies that take cross-training decisions and get the QA team also be part of project discussion. In the waterfall method, QA team prepares the test case at the time of code development, if QA part of project discussion or after the development. But it's all about how effective the test case scenario prepared. How many days are scheduled for the QA team to test on the set of code that deployed in the testing environment? If the large code is deployed, there are challenges faced in getting the environment ready. Though the environment may be ready, it lacks with test data, integration issue while performing integration test and incomplete regression test case scenario due to time constraints. But out of all, the final result always least bothered. Types of testing. In the software testing world, there are many test approaches followed to test the quality of the code. Unit testing. Testing is done by the developer to confirm the changes based on the personal view. Regression testing. Irrespective of any code changes, regression tests should run on the whole application as a sanity check. Testing the changes on top of functionality is to ensure no defects found on the base product. Regression testing is applicable when there are upgrades and fixes introduced. Integration testing. The code change will combine with other software modules to perform the test as a group. Functional testing. The testing will be happening on the functionality or business or client requirements. Load testing. Pumping the system with more traffic load to see system performance. With this test result, we can measure the TPS transaction per second. Exploratory testing. The test will happen against out-of-box test case scenarios. Acceptance testing. The test will happen to meet the requirements. This kind of analysis performed by the client. The testing approach in DevOps. DevOps process comes as industrial practice. The continuous testing is the approach to ensure that the test actually happened. How? Continuous testing is to be practiced in the DevOps process to get fast feedback from the changes. It does not address how to automate the testing, rather it emphasizes the concept of test early. Tests faster, test often and then automate the test. The software engineer in DevOps world can prepare the test case scenarios as code for unit test, regression test, functional test, IE test and load test to achieve test early. Test often and automate it. Automated test. The automated test is not new in the software industry, but what is to automate is important. Automated testing should perform at the right time in the right way to ensure a high quality release. Continuous tests in CI pipeline. 
Unit Test. Prepare the test case scenario which is to automate and execute on the modules where the changes happened. For example, developer made the changes in PassOutPolicy.js file. And that can be tested using simple script wrapping around this module. There are some test automation tools like Selenium and Test Complete to test the module. Tools like Junit, Nunit, Pitist, as a language specific module helps to automate the unit test. Test driven development, since the unit test is specific to the particular module. The developer should prepare the test case as a code. The code is to reuse at every stage during the development until it succeeds. Regression test. If the unit test passes, then the code will pass on to the next stage of the regression test. The regression test should always revisit and update with new test cases. The test should cover almost all the necessary base functionality. This behavior is to ensure the changes not affected the existing functionality or code. Coming back to our example, the automated regression will go through possible pages like login page, password reset page, password encryption method, and registration page, and also verify the error pattern in the application or system logs. Functional test. The functional test will happen based on BRDCR business. Requirements change request. In our example, the functional test will check whether the changes force all the existing customers to reset the password to meet the new policy. And also review the other possible scenario. What if existing customers that already have the password as per new password policy, etc. The functional test is to execute on the IE, so it can be automated using a tool like Selenium, Test Complete, etc. Integration test. In the phase of the integration test case scenario, the modules that went through changes should be auto-integrated into the co-services and modules without any impact. In our example, if the new password policy allows special character, it should not impact the underlying system. Nowadays, most of the system integration happening through the API. So to execute these test case scenarios, we can automate using tools like Swapui, Jmitter and Rest Assured, etc. Load test. Nowadays, the load test will not add to the CI pipeline due to resource limitation. However, the test should have happened at least once before the code moves to production. In our example, the new changes in the file the password policy.js might cause any latency issue that makes the customer wait for the login page to show. Performance test can be automated using Jmitter, etc. Benefits of the automated test process. The developer will get early feedback about the changes. All these tests are part of the CI. If there is an issue identified, the corrective action should execute on the same day. Reduce manual effort. The automated process ensures no manual error, but ensure reliability. Continuous test in CD pipeline. The continuous testing approach does not about automate the test case. It encourages us to find the problem from the check-in process until release in the deployment pipeline. Hence the automated testing is required in the CI pipeline. However, there are scenarios where the tester knows that automation will not work. So that kind of test cases needed manual intervention in the continuous delivery CD pipeline. For for example, in the banking domain, the reconciliation process is important to compare ledger balance with the customer's balance so if the changes happen to such modules. The tester should perform manual verification. Exploratory testing. We can verify the above scenario by performing exploratory testing. In most products based companies, before the product deployed in production, the companies will engage tester to review the application in a different dimension. So the tester will critically think and carefully observe the application. They will prepare the creative test case. Design the tests systematically with different diverse ideas. The exploratory testing will perform an ad hoc manual test and capture it. Learnings in CD Pipeline. 
The issue bugs that identified or test cases that captured during the exploratory testing can be added to the automated CI test pipeline for continuous testing. Acceptance testing. In a continuous delivery pipeline, the changes should be reviewed by a client to perform a set of use case tests by themselves. This test is considered to be a sign-off to deploy the application into production. In some companies, this a sign-off will happen to the concept of beta testing. Besides, in service-based companies, you a sign-off from the client is a must. But product-based companies follow beta testing. Great! You have learned about Connecticut in CD. We'll come up with another chapter next week. Thank you.